Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, the Star Aviation launches Falcon 10X, Starship SN15 launches, lands, and this time does not blow up. Blue Origin, ready to fly astronauts. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. We have a packed episode with the latest news, so let's go ahead and start with... Dassault Aviation has announced an all new Falcon jet. Featuring a range of 7,500 nautical miles, the Falcon 10X will fly non-stop from New York to Shanghai, Los Angeles to Sydney, Hong Kong to New York or Paris to Santiago. Top speed will be Mach 0.925. Today we are introducing a new benchmark in business aviation, said Dassault Chairman and CEO Eric Trappier. The Falcon 10X will offer an unrivaled passenger experience over both short and long duration flights, along with breakthrough safety features from Dassault's frontline fighter technology. The Falcon 10X will enter service at the end of 2025. The high speed wing will be made of carbon fiber composite and will be equipped with advanced retractable high lift devices, offering good maneuverability at low approach speeds. The twin engine aircraft will be powered by the in development Rolls Royce Pearl 10X. The 10X is the latest, largest, and most powerful version of the Pearl series, delivering more than 18,000 pounds of thrust. The Falcon 10 X's flight deck will offer touch screens throughout the cockpit. A next generation digital flight control system is derived directly from Dassault's latest military technology and will incorporate a new single button recovery mode. More news after the break. In Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're going to be summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Bell's 505 cargo hook has been approved by European Union Aviation Safety Agency to carry up to 2,000 pounds, giving the aircraft an external gross weight capability of 4,475 pounds. In November 2018, Storm Helleworks AB, a helicopter operator based in Sweden, tested out the 505 cargo hook while in Canada. The company performed a wide range of specialized operations, such as building power lines, cleaning trees from power lines, forest inspections, mosquito control, firefighting, and other missions. GoGo has unveiled what they called the first unlimited streaming and data plan in business aviation, GoGo Biz 4G. Limitless. Our customers' hunger for data continues to grow, but they also want predictability in their billing, said Jim McDougall, GoGo's vice president and product manager. The GoGo Biz 4G Limitless plan is priced at $9,995 per month and doesn't require a separate data plan. All data on the aircraft is included under one unlimited plan. The FAA has proposed civil penalties ranging from $9,000 to $32,750 against 
four airline passengers for allegedly interfering with, and in two cases, assaulting flight attendants, who instructed them to obey cabin crew instructions and various federal regulations. Federal law prohibits interfering with aircraft crew or physically assaulting or threatening to physically assault aircraft crew or anyone else on the aircraft. Boeing has introduced a new partnership with a Costa Rica-based maintenance, repair, and overhaul provider to create additional conversion capacity for the 737-800 Boeing converted freighter. Boeing will open two 737-800 BCF conversion lines with Cooperativa Autogestionaria de Servicios Aero Industriales in Alajuela, Costa Rica. The first of the new conversion lines is expected to open in early 2022, with the second anticipated later that year. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now we're back to the rest of the news. With hundreds of thousands logging in all over the globe to watch, the much upgraded Starship SN15 aced a test flight that had destroyed four prototypes before it. On Wednesday, May 5th, Starship serial number 15 successfully completed SpaceX's fifth high-altitude flight test of a Starship prototype from Starbase in Texas. Similar to previous high-altitude flight tests of Starship SN15 was powered through ascent by three Raptor engines, each shutting down in sequence prior to the vehicle reaching FOG approximately 10 kilometers in altitude. SN-15 performed a propellant transition to the internal header tanks, which hold landing propellant, before reorientating itself for re-entry and a controlled aerodynamic descent. The Starship prototype descended under active aerodynamic control, accomplished by independent movement of two forward and two aft flaps on the vehicle. The four flaps were actuated by an onboard flight computer to control Starship's altitude during flight and enable precise landing at the intended location. SN-15's Raptor engines reignited as the device performed the landing flip maneuver immediately before touching down for a nominal landing on the pad. While a small fire was evident for several minutes after the landing, it was eventually extinguished without visible damage. Our last story of the episode coming up after these messages. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Errol Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. This is our last top story of the show. 60 years after Alan Shepard got the U.S. firmly into the space race by being the first American to undertake a suborbital flight, Blue Origin is offering the public to take a very similar ride, albeit with greatly upgraded technology. On July 20th, Blue Origin's new Shepard launch vehicle will fly its first astronaut crew to space. They are offering one seat on this flight to the winning bidder of an online auction. Blue Origin has been flight testing New Shepard and its redundant safety system since 2012. The program has had 15 successful consecutive missions, including three successful escape tests. 
showing the crew escape system can activate safely in any phase of flight. As to the auction, there are three phases to the process, from May 5th till the 19th, sealed online bidding. You can bid any amount you want on the auction website. May 19th, unsealed online bidding. The bids become visible and participants must exceed the highest bid to continue in the auction. On June 12th, live auction. The bidding concludes with a live auction online, after which the winning bid amount will be donated to Blue Orange's Foundation Club for the Future. That does it for our show today. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Air News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media and comment with story ideas or just to say hi. We'll see you next time.